he's got two choices. He can be a tragic hero and say that I had some personality excesses. People called me crass and crude, but I got this agenda. We were successful, and now I paved the way for a new Republican Party. But the very sturm und drang of that process made me unelectable or made me not going to be the, the right, and I'm going to ride off in the sunset and rest on my laurel. Or if he wants to say current, then he's got to shift attention from himself to the agenda. I, I know that he has great confidence in himself, but he can say that I gave you this agenda and everybody seems to agree that we have to restore the industrial capacity of the United States. We've got to be tough on China. We've got to have a, a border that's secure. Joe, Joe Biden blew up immigration law. It doesn't exist in America on the southern border. Nobody's talking about gasoline prices because and their way of thinking if they've gone up three dollars and they went down 50 cents that's a cut but they're still much higher and people know that. Inflation went from 9.2 and now it's 8.5 but 8.5 is extraordinary. The Fed is going to tighten up. People are still, this is the anniversary week, last week was, of the Afghanistan debacle. So they don't want to talk about those issues, so what are they doing? So we had the January 6th commission, of which there was no Republican on the committee who did not vote to impeach Donald Trump or who had a political future. If he takes the third alternative, and that's what you hinted at, and he keeps dwelling on the injustices that were done to him, He's kind of like a Sophoclean Ajax where the entire play is about all the wrongs that people did to Ajax, all of which were legitimate criticism. Everything he says has legitimate grounds, but it doesn't matter now. The matter is the future of the United States and the world. Yeah. And so it really is yes. that big, isn't it? Yes. Victor? The problem is the he's put himself into a paradox where mm. the effort to get justice, even if he were to achieve it, would be such a distraction and such controversy that his agenda would be overshadowed. And there's people all over the United States that need that agenda. And so Donald Trump is going to have to decide which is more important to him, to be the leader of the Republican Party and to look ahead and not to do what he did in 2020 when he fixated on the election. He let the Georgia races, the two Senate races, sort of you know, he basically told his supporters the vote, the vote won't be valid. And then the independents, he seemed to be distracted. So they elected two neo-socialists in Georgia of all places. And so that should have been a warning. So he's going to have to get that message to barnstorm the country and help these candidates and not talk about what happened. And if he doesn't take the responsibility to, to run on the agenda and to make sure that other people other than himself win this time around, I think he's going to be in real trouble. People who are running for office are going to tell him the 2020 election is history. And to the degree that there is a legitimate criticism about the uh, outcome, it was probably lost in March and April when the voting laws were changed and that was not addressed by the Republican. And right now we need to look at the future. And each moment that you go back there, you play into the fake narrative of an insurrection and fascism, and that's what they want you to do. The problem is with the Republicans that they are reactive. Well, we did, we're not insurrectionist. You're defaming us. We're not fascist. You shouldn't have rated, this is, this is terrible. So they're reacting in a news cycle to these melodramas that are concocted and it's taken a lot of momentum at least out of them whether i don't think it'll it'll change but at some point some adult in the republican party is going to have to say do your worst and we're going to do our best we're going to have a national agenda and it's going to be the antithesis of this disastrous two years and we're all going to be on the same page and this is what we're going to run on and i think they'll be okay